my patient Sonia, 28 year old female, married, has done graduation and is housewife, resident of Pindi, presented to us uh, via OPD today in the morning uh, with a complaint of pre uh, with a complaint of the exacerbation of the previously existing skin disease that is the red raised lesions uh, red lesions involving the lower legs, thighs lower abdomen and the left forearm associated with itching and pain for the last three and a half month. My patient is a diagnosed case of skin disease since two and a half years ago when she developed uh, red lesions involving the lower legs associated with the severe itching and itching was confined to the lesions only. Uh, the lesions got uh, raised by the time of the evening or night time and also associated with bilateral pedal edema which my patient says that it get relieved after the leg elevation but to know any connection with the orthopnea, shortness of breath and chest pain uh, with it. Uh, she was prescribed uh, uh, delta cotyl by the doctor uh, in the tapering dose which uh, and according to my patient she was told by the doctor to stop the treatment when she get uh, relieved by it so she stopped that but from the last three and a half year uh, from, but from the last three and a half month she again presented with a similar complaint uh, that are the red lesion involving the lower legs not only the lower legs but it has also involved the thighs lower abdomen and forearm with a relative spelling of other body areas uh, that is again associated with the severe itching uh, there is no any prior history of the sore throat, fever, uh, any uh, itching, burning and um, stinging sensation on exposure to the sun, painful bluish discoloration of the hands on uh, exposure to the cold or cold water and uh, no any oral ulcers. Uh, she does not uh, complain of any myopathies with it. But uh, my patient relate her disease to the uh, increased walking that whenever she walk more the disease get aggravated and get relieved by applying the topical uh, or oral treatment. Uh, she, uh, it, it is her first admission and uh, 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 biopsy has been done that shows that she is suffering from small vessel vasculitis. Uh, she had uh, taken the tablet delta cotyl. Initially, she was prescribed 20 mg, but then uh, it tapered off in three to four months, and at the end, she was taking uh, 10 mg prednisolone, which she stopped. Uh, she has recently again started on delta cotyl. Uh, she was also prescribed the adoxa and the flagell for some issue which my patient does not uh, remember. And uh, um, there is no any. Uh, uh, she also complained of the painful uh, red raised lesion which is associated with intense itching and that heal leaving behind post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation uh, once and uh, whereas um, okay there is no any history of the headache or uh, uh, dizziness or vertigo or no any redness of the eyes or abdominal pain dysuria proteinuria or hematuria morning stiffness or arthritis, no any cold and heat intolerance. Sometimes she feels uh, flu-like symptoms on and off due to the uh, seasonal changes. And, uh, um, uh, no any history of the uh, painful, nodu uh, painful uh, uh, nodules associated with the hepatitis B or C or any uh, network pattern erythema uh, associated with it. Uh, there is no any uh, hair involvement and the nails involvement. Okay. Mm, uh, 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 during the course of the disease, my patient complained that her disease has been aggravated and it has affected her quality of life in a sense that uh, she is afraid of going out uh, uh, because of the increasing the lesion. Otherwise, she can do her own uh, uh, home uh, work and uh, or um, can wear the clothes of its own so no any issue other than that no any past uh, um, other than this uh, medical history no any history of ischemic heart disease diabetes or um, menstrual history is normal and the baby has been born with a c-section and uh, no any uh, prior abortion history uh, uh, the sleep and bowel and bladder habits are normal and also uh, socioeconomically uh, they are uh, low middle class Keeping uh, then upon examination, my patient uh, is a 
mid uh, is a, a young lady she was cooperative and comfortable normal height and build with a vitals of blood pressure 120 and 80 uh, respiratory rate of 16 breath per minute pulse was 80 beats per minute with no radio radial delay and uh, the temperature was 98 degree fahrenheit there was no any jointless anemia cyanosis cholonychia and no pedal edema and no lymph node palpable as well uh, cutaneous examination show uh, the multiple pinpoint uh, erythematous uh, 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 purpuras and patikis involving bilaterally symmetrically the lower legs, the thighs, and some discrete uh, morphology, uh, 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 some discrete lesions of similar morphology is also appreciated on the lower abdomen, and the two uh, patikis are appreciated on the left fo uh, forearm as well. Uh, they were not tender to touch and uh, normal temperature gradient, non-palpable and non-legible. Uh, the pulses were intact and uh, regional lymph nodes were not palpable. Uh, scalp and oral cavity examination I couldn't do uh, because uh, of my patient privacy. And uh, the cervical lymph nodes were not palpable. Uh, upon joint movement, the prayer, reverse prayer was uh, intact and there was no any joint tenderness power uh, in the proximal and distally it was 5 by 5 tone was normal reflexes were intact in the upper as well as in the lower limbs uh, the chest was cultation the chest expansion and chest movement was uh, normal and uh, it was of normal vesicular breathing with a resonant percussion note uh, the uh, cardiovascular examination showed no any heave or uh, thrill and this was s1 and s2 audible with no any added murmurs uh, abdomen I couldn't uh, do because